YouTube, this is CG Tech here with another video. Today we're actually unboxing the Comcast Ultra. Uh, Ultra is for Ultra HD content that you could actually stream to your TV. First we're going to look at the box here, then we're going to unbox it. I'm going to show you guys around. So in the front we have uh, the Comcast Ultra. All these apps here on, on the right actually support Ultra HD content. First we have YouTube, Netflix, uh, Hulu, uh, and then you have HBO and all those other apps in there. Uh, you could actually stream 4K movies from Google Play as well. And this side we have a simple comparison when it comes to the Chromecast Ultra and the regular Chromecast. Uh, you can see that this new Chromecast Ultra could actually stream up to uh, 4K content. And the regular Chromecast only supports a resolution of 1080p. Uh, you can see that it is ultra fast, so it's supposed to be faster when it comes to load times. This one has Wi-Fi as well as Ethernet. The regular one has Wi-Fi only. Then you have surround sound support. Then we just have uh, some samples of how you can stream stuff. Um, and on this side, again, we have uh, TV and music and apps that support the Chromecast. And now we're going to unbox it. So, first tape. All right. That should be it. I'm actually going to do a comparison with the old one as well once I get this one out. Alright, so first in the box we get the Comcast Ultra. Let's actually take this out and see what's in the box. Oh, come on. Alright, I finally got it out. Gave me some trouble. Alright, so I want to put this aside. Then in the box we also have uh, a setup guide. People don't actually read that, so done. Um, and then you have product information and warranty as well. So, but again, we don't read this, right? Let's throw it out. Um, also in the box, we have the power brick. Let's take this out. This is the new power brick. This is actually bigger than what I got last time. Uh, the other one used to be tiny. This one is actually big, but I suppose it's because we have the ethernet connection attached to the brick itself. Then we have uh, all the connections actually attached to this as well. It doesn't have a USB port where you could actually take it out as attached to that. So, so I'm sorry for those who actually prefer that sort of uh, USB connection to just connect it to the TV. Now you will need to connect it to the wall. And let's see how long this actually is. Okay, all right, well, at least Google's giving you extremely long cable to actually find a place to connect this. All right, so, and again, uh, this is actually an Ethernet connection. Um, I bet that this Chromecast actually needs more bandwidth to be able to work with 4K content. So this is most likely the reason why Google actually did this and put the, uh, the Ethernet connection in there. All right, so now, now let me do a comparison with the old Chromecast. Let's take this one out. So this is the new Chromecast. Um, let's compare it with the old Chromecast. This is actually it. Uh, very similar in design, actually. The new one is a little bigger. Um, no big deal. Uh, you could actually still uh, attach this magnet to the TV or wherever you want. Um, same here with the old one. The old Chromecast versus the new Chromecast. 4K resolution support versus 1080p support. Now you may be asking yourself if you really need the Chromecast Ultra. If you don't have a 4K TV, I don't recommend this. Go with the 1080p. Now if you're planning to buy a 4K TV soon, then I would recommend this because you're going to need it if you would like to see 4K content. Okay, now I'm going to go downstairs, set it up on my 4K TV and actually show you guys how it looks. Actually, I have an unboxing video on that TV if you guys are interested. I will leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. Alright guys, you can actually see that I just set up my Chromecast in there. It wants me to download the Google Home app, which I already have. So I'm going to bring that up so you can see Google Home is actually searching for devices. All right. And as you can see, Google Home already found the new Chromecast Ultra, which I got to set up. So I want to set this up. We're going to hit continue. All right. So it's actually connected. And all you got to do is make sure that the code that you see here is actually the same that you see on the TV. So here we have S4E7 that's on the phone and then on the TV we have S4E7 so that's actually the same so I'm gonna give it a name now let's say continue alright so like Wi-Fi network I don't have it connected to the Ethernet yet 
I'm planning to do that later. But for this demo, actually, I'm only going to do Wi-Fi for now. And there we go. The Chromecast is actually updating. So now we're going to head to YouTube and actually stream something. Um, let's see YouTube. EG Tech HD. Uh, let's go to that channel. Um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you actually subscribe to this channel. And let's actually stream my iPhone 7 Plus Jet Black unboxing right here. I'm actually then going to send it to the Chromecast. As you can see here, EG Tech HD. Alright, so you see that I sent that to the Chromecast the Ultra already. already. Oh, that was fast. This is going to be a nightmare. That took um, no time, actually. So, if you're afraid about fingerprints, I would suggest you to go with the, uh, the matte version. As you can see, that video is a 4K video and it actually looks really, really good. You can tell that the Chromecast is actually doing a very, very good job of doing this. Matter of fact, the quality might not be up to 100% yet because it's on Wi-Fi. And I bet once I put the Ethernet connection from the router to the Chromecast, the quality is going to be a little better. And this is it for this video, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this one. Also, subscribe. Also, make sure you're subscribed because two days from today, I'm actually uploading the giveaway video that I have for you guys coming up. Two people are actually going to have the chance to win something. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel to be the first one to know what you have to do to enter that giveaway.